So there are some very religious forms of yoga. Then there are some yoga classes that are just about the stretching and the exercise. Um, I've even known of some Catholics that will set Catholic meditations and names of poses uh, to, I, I think they change some of the poses in general. Um, and this is, there's a lot of back and forth on this, but I think the, the, the key to remember is uh, that our bodies and our minds and our souls are not separable. And so how does what we are doing lend towards that encounter with the transcendent versus sort of emptying ourselves or trying to empty our minds, evacuated of content? As Catholics, we shouldn't just kind of go in consuming things without kind of thinking about it. Um, so to consider, you know, is this leading me towards God? Is this an authentic form of prayer? You know, if it's uh, Bikram yoga, or if it's some of the yoga that would incorporate uh, more Eastern prayers and an Eastern spirituality that has the goal of that emptying, um, that's, we should be very cautious about that uh, and, you know, not engage in it. But if it's, you know, sometimes I, I think that there's just kind of the form of stretching, there's kind of the relaxation of just kind of quieting yourself down, deep breathing, and it's not necessarily uh, sort of opening oneself in a spiritual way, you know, that's probably more benign.